Hi everyone, it's Ruby and Rayleigh and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video we are going to be doing a one colour painting challenge and we're going to be painting some Christmas jumpers in a fun twin telepathy switch up challenge. We've wanted to do this challenge for a really long time and this video has been highly requested by you all so we thought we'd do it now. Before we get started, we just want to thank everyone who's supported us and given us positive feedback about our new product collection. We're really, really happy that you like it. As you may have noticed, we're wearing two of our sweatshirts today. This is one of mine. It was from the pop art egg that I designed. And this is my burgundy rose. But because we're wearing these sweatshirts, we just want to be really careful, yeah. especially me, so we don't get any paint on them. And if the Christmas designs that we make in this video turn out really good, then we'll put them on some sweatshirts that we'll put on our store. So after watching this video, not now, go to the store. On that note, let's get started with the video. So, if you haven't seen this challenge already, we're going to be putting the twin type of the board up in a minute so you can't see each other. And there will be six different rounds for this challenge. For each round, our mum is going to give us a variety of different options to decorate our jumpers with. But this time, we're going to be picking for each other. If we get it right, then we get a point, and if we don't get it right, then we get zero points. And, as it says in the title, we're only going to be using one colour today apart from black and white. <laughs> So we have the border up now, we can't see each other, which means we're ready for round one. Let's shut our eyes. Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! Ooh! They're very soft. I love that Primark one. Oh, that's soft. So we've either got an extra small one from Primark, or we've got a large one from Fruit of the Moon. So, this is the one I want. And this is the one I think Ruby would want. So this is the one I want. And this is the one I think Brady would want. Okay, we're gonna pass them over now. Are you ready? Yeah, I think we got it right, I think. Do you wanna go like over or under? Under, I think. Okay, three, two, one. <gasps> Yay, you got it right. <gasps> yeah! I think this one was quite easy because we both wear know. oversized clothes more than this jumper Primark one though is so soft and I would not mind wearing yeah. this on a normal day. I've only got a couple of things for you today, Ruby, but I have got stuff. Oh, I have something for you at the probably the last round. Okay. I've got something there. I thought it would go with your outfit. It does, okay. Thank you for that, Ray. Really. Okay. Let's shut our eyes for round two. Three, two, one. <gasps> Paint! So, whoa, these are new. It's heavy. Oh, wow, big. <laughs> we have an aqua blue, a blue blue, and a very red red. Oh my gosh! And a copper. This one's bigger than my head. Oh, wait, is this one? That is crazy. So, I know the one that I want. I would want this one. Oh my gosh. I don't know what Ruby's gonna want though. These are the only colors we're using, but of all of this challenge is that we can mix black and white with it, so we can use the tone, different tones of these yeah. colors. I don't think Ruby's gonna want this one. I think between these two blues, this is the one Ruby would pick the most, and this is the one that I'd want. Well, now we know it's the blue. Between all of these, I would want this one the most, and I think Rady would want this one. I just realised I kind of gave something away then. I didn't realise I said it out loud until after. And it doesn't matter today because it's <laughs> a different type, and that kind of helps us when we have clues. So, this is the one I want, and this is the one I'm picking for Ruby. And this is the one I want, and this is the one I'm picking for Rayleigh. Okay, I'm going to go over this time. <gasps> <gasps> oh, you got it right! <gasps> yeah! We did. Okay, now we're gonna go on to the third round. Three, two, one. <gasps> Red cards. Oh, okay, Christmas tree slash presents. This is the thing that goes on, I think. Christmas village or market and winter wonderland slash woodland. This is the one that I want. 
I really have like a good idea for this one. And it would work for the other ones as well in case it goes wrong. I think Ruby is either gonna want that or that. What are your thoughts? Okay, I've chosen. Oh. Okay, so I want this one. And I think Brady wants this one. I think, I can imagine her having a lot of ideas for this one. So, this is the one that I want, and this is the one I'm picking for Ruby. And this is the one I want, and this is the one I'm picking for Rayleigh. Okay, ready? <laughs> <gasps> We're doing really good. You got it right, I think. Did I get my, yours right? Yeah, you did. We're doing really good. <gasps> I'm really excited to do this one. Same. I have a really good idea. Same, and it matches my colour so well as well. <laughs> Okay, so I only have one thing for you today, but there's quite a few things in it. I think you're gonna like it. So, oh, thank you. Go. <gasps> Chocolate. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Ruby. That was very, very good. But now we're going on to the next round. This is the fourth round, and I actually don't know what's next that we haven't got already. Three. Two, one. Ooh. So we oh. have a white, a thick and thinner white Posca pen and a thick and thinner black Posca pens. Um, oh no. This is hard. Oh, wait, I know. I don't. I'm kind of stuck on this one. I feel like it could easily go either way. And I picked Wonderland. So for that reason and that reason alone, this is the one that I think Ruby's gonna want. I want this one. So I was thinking about the one that I picked for you, which is the village, and I feel like this is the one that you probably use it more with. And this is the one I want. So yeah, so. So I'm choosing this one, and this is the one that I'd want. And I'm choosing this one, and this is the one I want. Okay, ready? Yeah. <gasps> oh, <gasps> yay, thank you. Got it right. This one, it wasn't my first choice. Oh. I did actually want the black, but I can make it work because it's still really good. Okay, and sorry. I just thought because you had Winter Wonderland, you'd do something true. like snow caps, and I thought that would help. I've got something else to give you. This is the final thing. So, yeah. Oh, I'm excited. You ready? Yeah. Three. Yeah. <gasps> give you a little shock. That isn't funny. <laughs> Thanks for that, really. I definitely was not expecting that. Okay. But now I've got two more rounds to go, so let's shut our eyes. Three, two, one. <gasps> glitter! <gasps> I love glitter. So, we have a blue, or we have a gold, or we have a silver, or we have a white. <gasps> okay, I kind of know already, because I know the colours you've picked. If you get me, you've got. I want this one, definitely. And I think really wants this one this is the one that i want and this is the one that i think ruby will want okay three two one <laughs> thanks, thanks. <gasps> oh you got it right oh, yeah <laughs> did i get it right or wrong yeah you got it right oh we wanted the same, same thing way. yeah on to the last round three two one <gasps> Ooh. i think these items are to help us with the painting so we have some buds, we have these like stencils and some masking tape. I immediately know what I want and I immediately know what I think Ruby will want. This is what I would want and this is what I think Ruby would want. So this is what I would want and this is what I think Rayleigh would want. But let's show each other. Three, two, one. Happy birthday! You got it right! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> I knew you were gonna do something like that yeah, because well, there was a pause. <laughs> Unlike our other twin celebrity videos, we know how many points you got in this video. So I got six out of six, and I got five out of six. So, so you, you won. won. Woo! <laughs> We've got all of our materials now and our mum has also given us black and white paint because this challenge is to only paint with one colour. Although we can use the black and white to shade or we can add them to this colour but this is the only colour. We can break the rules this time yeah. a little bit. And we also each have a little board here which we're going to put inside 
of the sweatshirts, then we have a good surface. Apologies about mine because it is quite dirty. Because we washed it and it's got paint from another video. So, let's prepare our canvases for painting. <laughs> Both of our sweatshirts are ready to paint now. And we also have a white pencil which shows up on like a black jumper. So if you're trying to paint on a black jumper and you don't have a white pencil, you could do a white wash on the bottom and then use a black pencil. The first thing we're gonna do, I think we'll both be doing it, is prepare the base of our design. Yes, yeah, so trace out. Yeah, so let's go. Okay, I'm onto my paint now. What about you, really? I only had to do one thing on my tracing. Oh, it was like a line, so then I didn't go over it. I feel like you're actually drawing something out properly. Yeah. I'm done now. So I'm gonna start painting now. Me too. You're drying it already? Yeah, well, I've done my first layer and I kind of need it to be dry. The yeah, second, I'm in the middle of doing ombre and I kind of need to get the second layer on. <laughs> so I just found a new technique on how to like blend it easier. Like, yes, yeah. I'm doing ombre and I feel like it goes on the shirt better. So you take your brush, get paint on this thing, and then you just go round in circles. Oh, I swear they do that in Bob Ross. That's how he did it. our bases and mine is looking so good and I'm excited to do all the Posca pens and details. I'm finished with my base as well. I really, really love it, but I can't do any more until tomorrow because the paint's got to dry. Same. And I'm very surprised I did this as well. We've managed to keep our sweatshirts clean, no paint at all. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. It's the next day now and our base coats are dry. They're looking really nice and we have covered them up. For my design, it's now time to add some details on because I've got the background, but I haven't got anything really in the front. But I'm gonna be using this and this to create a, using this color. I don't understand what you were saying, but for mine, I'm gonna be using these two things and then I'm gonna be painting on the front with this. I'm excited for this part because the design's gonna start coming together. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm using like, oh, it's really hard to explain. Like with the paintbrush, I'm like spinning it around in circles and it makes a really nice texture on the sweatshirts. So I definitely recommend doing that. painting really do you by any chance doing trees okay so I finished the two main parts of my scene and I have one more thing I need to do. I'm kind of nervous to do this because I haven't ever painted one of these before, especially on like clothes. I've just got to fill in a couple of things and then I'm gonna be using this color on its own, which I'm really excited for. So now we're gonna do some more painting.
So the main painting's done on mine now, and now I'm gonna be adding some pens for the details. Saying the main painting is finished for me and I absolutely love how it's going. It looks so, so cool, but I do need to add some finishing touches, which is this pen and some Christmas sparkle. So I'm very yeah. excited. I've also got some glitter. <laughs> This glitter is so nice. It's going on the sweatshirt so well and it makes it look that much cooler. I haven't done my glitter yet. I'm excited for it though. So we finally finished our painted jumpers. I absolutely loved mine and I can't wait to show all of you and Ruby. Me too, I love it so much and I cannot wait to show you and see yours. Now it's time to take the barrier down. Hello, your hair looks nice. You did it for me last night, but then French cut. Okay, right. Rock, paper, scissors? Yes. I'll choose for you to go first. Okay, so straight rise. Right. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh! That's, oh my gosh! That's so good. Thank you. I, well, you can see what I did. Oh my gosh, I love that. Thank I feel you. like it's so like the cool. glitter. Yeah, you see, it looks like snow. snow. Yeah. I love it so much. Thank you. Like, it looks like it's actually snowing and it's got like ice kind of vibe at the top. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I yeah. just kind of took the lighter paint while it was all wet and I striped it down a bit. Okay, three, two, one. Here is my Christmas themed sweater. I obviously have a lot of bronze in it. That's the main color. And I did a Christmas kind of skyline scene. And there's glitter on the snow, there's glitter on the floor. And I think it's really, really pretty. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, I love it. Thank you. This is mine and I really, really love it. I'm excited to see yours. I wonder if they like complement each other. I don't think they complement each other's colours, but they definitely look good together. It kind of reminds me of the one I did before, the same colours. <laughs> okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Oh, oh whoa! <gasps> that D is really good. I copied one for my phone because I never drew one before. That's really pretty. That's, it looks good with the black as well. Oh, I like, the, I like the glitter on the moon as well. It makes yeah. it reflect really cool. And there's Van Gogh trees. Bob Ross. Oh, yeah. Bob Ross. <laughs> I keep getting it. So Happy little trees. Oh, you put the snow on them as well. Yeah. That's so cool. I think Mine's, you yours is sunset, mine's the night. Okay, I'm going to show you guys in three, two, one. So. This is mine and I love it so much. I feel like it's got such like an icy vibe and like a snowing vibe. And obviously the deer and the moon complement each other because it's like sparkly and I love it so much. It really looks amazing. So these are our final one color painted Christmas jumpers. I think they're really, really cool and they look really good together. The good thing about using one color on a jumper is because it's like really forgiving and it blends so well on it, as you can see, like the ombre effects we've done. It looks so natural and really nice. So make sure to head over to the community page and comment who you like the best from this challenge, Ruby's or Rayleigh's. And we are gonna try and recreate and transfer these designs onto some sweatshirts, which will be on our shop. So make sure you go check that out. And we also hope we've inspired you to paint your own because it's really, really fun to do and it makes them very special because you make them. We have two shout outs for this video. Shout out number one goes to Stephanie Seahorse. Thank you so, so much for commenting on our community page and being really nice in the comment section. The second shout out goes to Craftsy. Thank you so, so much for subscribing to us and for commenting on the community page. So that's the end of our video. We really, really hope you've enjoyed. Hope you're staying safe. We love you. Bye. Um, I've lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. But, um, I've lost my train of thought again. <laughs> it's not my day. So, we've got all of our ingredients. Materials. There. So, like, everything. Oh.
I thought you just gave me like a pack of oranges or baby bells. I would they come in like the same thing. I love baby bells. Mm, I miss baby bells. <gasps> oh, I'm good. <laughs>